everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Spice YouTube Hop. I am going to show you my first project that I've made. The products I used for this project is going to be from the Not Too Shabby Shop and KS for You. Here it is. It is. This was originally a birdhouse. And not that it had the holes on the perch, but the design of the decoupage paper on it was bird themed and it was real pretty. And um, my aunt bought this for me for my birthday. This is what I did to it. Uh, I decoupaged the whole base of the uh, birdhouse with some napkins and let me just show you here's the pattern and for the roof what I did was I used paper um, from the Echo Park paper line it's called dots and stripes I believe and this is from the not too shabby shop and this paper pad has um, pink and white polka dots in different shades of pink. It has black and white polka dots and gray and white polka dots and it's the different hues within those three colors. So I uh, decoupaged the pink and white polka dot paper on and I thought it would look really weird without it having an awning type roof because it's all the box doesn't have a extension for the roof so I made my own so you can kind of see it there and there I thought it looked better that way and what I did was I took a die from my personal stash these two dies and I made a frame and then I took this mini gorgeous girl from the not too shabby shop and I wanted to color her up and the reason I put blue is there's so much uh, pink and lavender monotone on here that I wanted a different color to pop off and not so much blend in I just wanted that pop there and so this is from the Not Too Shabby Shop. This is the Gorgeous Girl by Doe Craft. And you can get that at the Not Too Shabby if, if they're still in stock. She sold out and she did reorder some. And let's see. And then these beautiful flowers are from ks for You. If I can zoom in a little bit and there's two different flowers so there's <clears throat> this one here and then these two it has uh, some organza and then um, some fabric on this side I have two more products so this is a total of four products from KS for you there's this beautiful lavender venice and they look kind of like uh grapes with a bow which you can't well you can kind of see the bow right in there and what i did was i adorned the dangle part of the venice with some flat back pearls that were gifted to me from emma jean who is emma hicks on youtube thank you emma and then this is a gift from One Little Dreamer here on YouTube, Artie. And I thought it would look so pretty on this Venice. I really wanted to dress this up. Excuse my hands. <laughs> I've been painting today. Uh, I just really wanted to dress this up because it's going to a friend. And... This here is from a kiss for you store. This is a lavender round beads and this is about two or three millimeter. 
so I thought it'd be perfect to put the lavender with um, the lavender venice from Chaos for You. So you can find these, this venice and these round pearls in Chaos for You's store, and that's at chaosforyou.net. And this you can find if it's still in stock right now. She she has more coming in. If it's not there, just have patience. And this is at nottooshabbyshop.com. So that's my project. And the bottom is just painted um, white. My little princess. She's, she's resting next to her mommy. Um, this is the best lighting. And I'm going to attach pictures at the end of either at the end of this clip or at the end of my entire video, just in case um, you can't get a, I'm thinking the light's pretty decent in here for you to see this, but in the event, I'll attach pictures of this at the end. Thank you so much, and on with the next project. Hey guys, I am back with projects two, three, and four. They're a set of um, birdhouse nesting boxes that I bought at my local um, scrapbook store. So this is what it looked like before. And ta -da! So these go small, medium, large. So I'm showing you the smallest first. What I did was <clears throat> I decoupaged this birdhouse and I decoupaged it with some napkins from my stash. And I used from my store this uh, three layered, it's kind of almost four layered trim, excuse me. Uh, it has tool, then chiffon, then some metallic, black metallic ribbon, and then some black pearls on top of that. And this was going to be too wide, so what I did was I just basically cut one part of the tool off and just left the tool on the bottom. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's just real pretty. And I thought this matched real nicely. And I don't know who I'm giving these to yet, so um, I didn't put like a little thing up here or something here because I, I don't know who it's going to. Okay, so this here, this is the medium size box. And again, I used napkins for my stash and it's real pretty. It's Parisian themed napkins. And see, there's the beautiful Eiffel Tower that's part of a postal stamp. And that's the back. It's real pretty. And what I did was I took trim from ks4u.net. It is a turquoise and black box pleated trim. Real pretty. It's about three quarters of an inch probably. And I just put that around the lid. And then this is real pretty cotton lace from ks4u.net and it's almost like a pennant so what I did was I just draped it across I punched a hole in the lace because this is the little perch to the birdhouse and I put the lace over the perch and then from my store I have this alpha pennant set and I just used some oven baked clay in pink and purple. And then what I did was I just got some white paint and just put it over the stitching to so that you can see it better. And I just draped it diagonally and it says sweet because the person that's going to is a sweet person. That one, I know who it's going to. And I'll still embellish the top, most likely. Okay, and then here is project number four. And 
I love, love, love. And I'm going to show you, when I finish showing you this, when I get towards the end, I'm going to show you side by side. I used the same napkin on another project, but I'll show them side by side how they look different just with paint. So I used some beautiful napkins for my stash, and I did it all the way around. And then what I took was some pink venice from my store. And it looks like this. And I put it around the edge of the lid. And then I took some flat back pearls from case4u.net. It's about a two millimeter flat back. Put that around the edging, around the top of the lid. And then I took some 10 or 12 millimeter flat back pearls. Um, and I had to painstakingly individually glue them on all the way around the lid. And then at the bottom, I put <clears throat> some more of the pink venice. And then I just repeated the pattern upside down so that they blend. And I, I don't know who this is going to, so I didn't put a center. I think I know who this is going to, but I'm not sure. It stacks up real nicely, just like that. All right. So from this is stuff from my store Julie store and not too shabby shop so I took the oh gosh it's called the Hatter collection from the greeting farm and that's from the not too shabby shop I colored it up with my watercoloring pencils and I did that one at the end, that one's in pink, and this little girl is in lavender. And I also used, um, here we go, I used from the Not Too Shabby Shop this heart set, and it's called Heart Stackables, and I cut out, I die cut out four hearts to make this banner. And then for my stashed, I used these alpha stamps and I fussy cut them out. I used some vintage lace and the vintage lace in my store is VL003. So if you go to my Zibit store, Elegant Embellishments, and you just search that number, you should be able to bring up um, the lace. And it's got like a Hawaiian hibiscus pattern on it, like a real pretty Hawaiian flower pattern on it. And I just ruffled it around the heart all the way around. These are from the Flower Power uh, resin set in my store. And I just put a resin piece on each of the letters. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job of showing this. And then what I did was to finish off the edging of the lace for my store, I used the 2 millimeter flat back pearl from ks4u.net. I made two valentines and I just used some paper bags from my stash from last year that I never used and I um, they have gussets on the side and so I basically glued the flap of the bag to make a pocket here and I put some washi tape all across the flap and it's um, Parisian washi tape for my stash. I got this doily that Natasha just gave me for my birthday. And I put it over the flap. And then this heart I used. And I made a frame using these two. I stacked them and ran it through my uh, Big Shot. And it made this frame right here. So I just used the two biggest size hearts to make this heart frame. And uh, all this um, fun foam and this thick chipboard cardstock is for my stash. And I used this Love You out of this Lawn, from, Lawn Fawn die from the Not Too Shabby Shop. It's called I Love You Border. And I used um, VL003. Um, this is what the um, 
pattern looks like. Sorry. So that's what it looks like. And I tied a bow around this flower bouquet that I made. And these little foam, pink and white foam flowers with this polka dot tool is from my store. They should be in my clearance section of my store. And then I used to sell these calla lily uh, foam flowers. I had a little bit left in my personal stash because um, I sold the rest that were in my store. And so that's for my stash. And then um, this pearl spray, this is from my stash. And I think it came out really, really cute. So again, the lace VL003. And these flowers are from Elegant Embellishments on Zibit. And you can get this I Love You Border Die and this Heart Stackable. Um, these are both from Lawn Fawn that you can get at the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I, again, used the two stackable, um, heart stackables from Lawn Fawn from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I made this red uh, fun foam frame and I made it into a shaker with some sequins. And then again, I used VL003 from my store to make a ruffle pattern in back of the shaker and then I used some feathers for my stash these pink pearls for my stash and then I used these flowers that um, the pink and white foam flowers with the polka dot tool for my store again that's in the clearance part of my shop and I just made this real pretty flower bouquet and then just tied a little bow. Boom. And then you got a little pocket. Actually, you have two pockets. One behind the shaker and then the bag. I glued the flap together so you have a, a second pocket there. And then you can just put your candy or whatnot in there. For this, I decoupaged this round box. And I used the same napkin as this box. And as you can see, they look different. And the only difference is I used white paint on this and pink paint on this. So when I put the napkin over it, it gave it a totally different look. It's really, really cool. And um, I just decoupaged the lid and then the base of it and the bottom. And from my store, I used again this beautiful pink venice as well as this cotton vintage lace from my store. And I just put this around the lid. And then I used um, the flat back pearls from ks4u.net. And I used uh, VL003, the vintage lace from my store. And I used the heart stackable die again. And I made another shaker. And this pink and white lace is from my stash. I glued this shaker onto the lid. And I just think, oh, and I used the I love you, um, the Lawn Fawn I love you border from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I glued it on the inside of the shaker and it's just I think it just came out so pretty don't you think I love it I so so love it this is a little tiny um keepsake box and the mask is from ks4u.net as well as this turquoise and black box pleated trim Hey everyone, I'm back with my, I think it's my 10th and final project. This is the Greeting Farm collection. Um, it's the Hatter collection, I apologize. And so you get all these, and this is from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And there's a little Yorkie in the video because my husband is being cute. Go ahead, show her real quick. Say hi. Say it's hi. It's Bailey. Say hi, hi Bailey. All right, she made her YouTube debut. Well, not really, but her YouTube hop debut. <laughs> okay, so um, I made this adorable project, and I'm going to show you 
something similar to what I used to make this local bargain store and um, this one is a little bit tinier but this is what it looked like same same design just a little bit bigger this one's smaller and what I did was to, to make this project here is I cut the flap off on this side and on this side on the um, length of it I cut it off and then I just left this and this on and I slid it down the center so that's all it was is a one dollar gift box into this so I took from the not too shabby shop I used the stamp collection that I just showed you as well as this little gorgeous girl right here with the little <coughs> She's holding a little teddy bear. And I also used this from the Not Too Shabby Shop. It's the Echo Park Dots and Stripes Valentine paper. See, there it is, the Valentine's collection. And I used the black and white polka dot from the collection. This used to be my belly band. And I didn't know if I was going to make this on the outside look like a credenza or if I was gonna I don't know I was gonna try and do a credenza but I didn't have enough um dishes because I was gonna do a credenza like a wet bar kind of thing and decorate the top but I didn't have enough okay so let me take the belly band off and I'll show you what I did I'm so excited Jamie I hope you really really love this because this is like my most favorite project I think ever that I've made and what I did was I just um, from my local bargain store I just got some metallic cardstock and I kind of wanted to do a mirrored image kind of like match all sides like the bottom the feet so like um, I used washi tape on the feet. I took some thread spools and just used washi on the on the feet in metallic and then I put a pink and white polka dot um, over the metallic and then I used this, um, it's like a plaster of Paris piece, you know the brand if you recognize it, and this is for my stash and I put um, some acetate for my stash so that it's um like glossy and then i put um this the pink and white background is also from the dots and stripes valentine collection from echo park and i put the gorgeous girl stamp that came from the not too shabby shop i colored her up with my watercoloring pencils and i put um a week of stella pen over the image to give it a real pretty glitter shimmer and that's also from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I forgot to say on my love banner, I used the Wink of Stella on the images. Okay, so um, as I said, this would have been the side of the gift box. I cut off the flaps and I cut off the flaps from here. So I just saved the two flaps on the side so that it will open up. Oh, let's hear the angels singing. Okay, so I made a little house and I'm hoping you can see I used a there's a it's very hard to see actually so on this wall there's a grandfather clock and then I put a little cabinet in there with a window and there's an old-fashioned telephone and I used the Greeting Farm stamp from the Hatter collection. And I think her name is Claudette. And Claudette, I colored her up with my watercoloring pencils. And I put a Wink of Stella pen over her to make her all glittery and cuteness. And she's sitting on a Chase lounge chair. And they're all from my stash and this is from the same collection for my stash it's a little dress form and then I used some rosette trim to make some black carpet 
and I just think it came out so adorable. I love, 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 love this, and I, I'm so sad because I have to give it away, and I really, really, really want to keep it, but I just, I love it, and Jamie, I really hope you just, you love this. Uh, I'm in love. So that's my last project 